Well, my wife is out of the house tonight, so now is as good as time as any to tell you about the massive argument that we had. We've been visiting foster baby uh, more and more this week. Um, and I tell you, it doesn't just feel like we're burning the candle at both ends. It feels like that candle is actually a stick of dynamite. Um, and it's about ready to blow. Been going to the hospital a lot to see him. Um, and it's good. But, um causing us to be really tired and um, it's it's a weird dichotomy because when we go he does better he de detoxes quicker his scores are lower um, but it means more driving to Seattle and more sitting in traffic and more late nights and um, it's taking a larger toll so uh, the argument that my wife and I had um, was about the kind of the category of sonship. Um, something I would say to kind of comfort my wife while we're going through all this was, don't worry, honey, he will be our son. And that's actually what spurred the argument because for her... This baby already is our son. And she wants me to be in that place too. And I want me to be in that place. Um, but it's been hard to get there. Uh, I think I've only been, I've only met him four times. I've held him three times. Um, and he's very cute and um, he's very welcome in our home. And I feel like this is where he's supposed to be. But the whole idea of sonship so quickly has been hard. I don't know him. It's not like when you are pregnant and you've spent nine months waiting and dreaming and, and wondering what your baby is going to be like. All of a sudden, with foster parenting, you just have a son and there he is and he needs your love and he needs your attention and there was no warm up. There was no slow progression. It was zero to 100 right away. The state has given us emergency placement, but what title is that? It's not a. It's not like adoption. It's just placement. This baby is going to live here. Um, I don't. I don't have an answer for this, but here's what I know. I know I love this baby already, and I know I want him to come live in our home. And I know, even though I wasn't prepared for him, he is my son. And right now, my baby boy is in the hospital. And I think there's a part of me that feels like admitting that that, yeah, that's my boy, that's my son. Makes it real, almost too real. So far, it's almost felt like visiting someone else's baby. Um, the baby that a friend had. You don't take him home, you just get to go hold him for a few hours, and then you leave. So my heart, 
is in a very strange place. I feel like I almost have to tell my heart, remind my heart that this baby is my son, that, that he is my child. And again, there's this issue of, well, you know, his parents could turn around and they, they could make it and they could get clean. But the picture that we're looking at in this specific case, the chances of that are so slim. He's the fourth child that's been taken away. His older brother lives with our in-laws, my in-laws, my wife's family. And uh, he's going up for long-term adoption. And so the chances are, so will this baby. But I can't wait until he's adopted to start referring to him as my son. That'll do irreparable damage. And I can't wait until then to start treating him as my son. That needs to start now. He needs all the love that a father can give him now. And all the love a mother can give him now. I feel like I'm 75% there. You know, I think for me, and maybe just because of how men are built, that physical presence um, is important. To get that connection and to get that time, there needs to be, you know, physical holding and touching and, and snuggling. Um, it can't just happen internally or emotionally. Um, so I'm really excited for him to come home. I'm excited to get my own time with him. Uh, right now my wife is actually spending the night in Seattle so she can put him down to bed. And then she's going to go sleep in a hotel and then go be there in the morning for him. It's absolutely incredible. She, she knows he does better when we're there. And so she wants to be there as much as possible. Yeah, I think it would be more plausible for us to do that if the hotels were in a couple hundred dollars a night. Can't foot that bill forever, tell you what. Um, thanks for letting me air out my thoughts and my heart here, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.